morning, everybody. Good morning. From the Detroit Airport. Metro Airport. Detroit Metro Airport. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. <laughs> We've been visiting family for the past two weeks, and it has been the best time ever. Yes, yeah, we nice. have just been soaking up every moment with family, and it just seemed like time fast forward. Fast forward. It just went by so so fast. Mm. It's it's been the best two weeks. We yes. really missed everybody. Ruby's really missed everyone. She had so much fun playing with her cousins and everyone. Mm -hmm. So that has been so so nice. Definitely a lot harder to leave the second time than the first time that's just part of this journey you just start appreciating the, the people in your lives a lot more when you don't see them as much for sure today we are heading out on our next adventure we are going back to europe this destination has been on our bucket list for so so long it is the land of ice and fire <laughs> we're going to iceland Yay. No, you're okay. Hello. We're the last ones on the plane. That's <laughs> definitely a first. I'm not mad about it though, because it yeah. means once we get on there, it's go time. It's go time. Oh my dear, would you like a little travel kit? Yeah. You are welcome. Oh, nice guys. manners. We landed here in Boston. It was a 45 minute flight from Newark, which is probably the shortest flight that we've ever taken. It was extremely easy, we got through security, and we actually got to the lounge. That, I think it's the only lounge in the terminal that we're in, so we got lucky. We got some food, so we're gonna eat all the food they have. And our flight leaves at 7 p.m. It's been like 17 hours. Now we have a six hour flight ahead of us and then we're gonna be in Iceland. But it's only four hour difference this time, so yes. hopefully the jet lag won't be so bad. You ready? Yeah. We're going to Iceland. We are. This airplane, it's like a budget airline for Iceland, and it's actually the nicest budget airline we've ever been on. For sure, yeah. Look at this leg room. Look at all that leg room. I could lay there. I could, my big old body could lay <laughs> down right there and be perfectly fine. Literally, Ruby could spread out right here. <laughs> and there'll be so much space. By the way, we got this new pillow. Look at this. It's like the blah block pillow. It's a very popular pillow that's supposed to help you sleep on the airplane. And oh my gosh, it works. It's super good. And I highly can recommend you get it. It makes sleeping on the plane so much easier, especially when you have the middle seat because Tim's blowing it up. And I'll show you why. It only takes a couple of breaths. It's not that big of a deal to blow it up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it looks crazy. But look, look at this. Put your hands in through here so they don't fall asleep and then there's a hole where your head is and then there's a hole on the bottom for breathing but it works it does work yeah i would still never use that thing though it's ridiculous <laughs> drinking alcohol what you we're icelanders icelandiers icelandiers Icelandic. we're icelandicers we have arrived in Iceland. Also, uh, watch out Will Ferrell, because we're coming for that title. You look like a little Eskimo. Are you excited for cold weather? No. No. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, we're so excited. First stop had to be food, of course. If you want to know what $30 in Iceland gets you, it is... Cheese. <laughs> Just cheese. Cheese board, veggie sandwich, smoothie, monster, Banana, chia pudding, water. It's not cheap here. <laughs> Listen though, they know how to do a cheese board. They give you honey with it. Yum. And the water in Iceland is known to be super, super fresh and pure. Like you can drink any of the tap water, anything here, and it's super, super clean, which is so nice. Oh, Tim, that's so cool. Wow, that's nice. We just dropped our luggage off and now we're heading to the Blue Lagoon and we're just waiting for our taxi. We're just standing in front of this grocery store and two cars just literally pulled up and ran into the grocery store and left their cars on. They just left them on Tim. Isn't that the funniest thing? It's like we don't need to wait for our taxi to get to the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> it's just so funny. They're just so trusting. And I'm just standing right here in front of them and they just still did it. <laughs> So some fun facts about Iceland. They were the first country to democratically nominate a woman president. Ooh. 
the reason in Greenland is named what it is and it's like full of ice and Iceland is named what it is and it's not full of as much ice is because the Vikings were trying to confuse like invaders when they were um, trying to take over their territory so that's pretty cool it's like a, a funny joke because Greenland is majority ice yeah. and Iceland is, is green yeah yeah <laughs> You guys, so we have made it to the Blue Lagoon and the drive here was so, so cool. Definitely landscape we've never seen. So cool, I mean, look at it. Look at it around us right now. Yes, it looks really cool. There's like volcanic rock everywhere. There's everywhere. huge like black, like mountains of rocks just crumbled and they look really cool. <laughs> and the sun is rising. We are a little bit late because of our luggage situation. It actually didn't work out where we had it. We ended up just coming to the Blue Lagoon and they have storage here. So yeah, yeah. if you want to just come directly from the airport, you can. So these rocks, they're just filled with moss and do not touch the moss. So we heard that it is very, very disrespectful to touch the moss, to step on it. It's a living plant and they don't want any damage to Oh, ah, so exciting. Oh, it feels so good. Stop, this is so nice. <gasps> Look, there's a tunnel, Ruby. <gasps> Timmy. Ruby, let's go through the tunnel. <laughs> wow. How cool is that, Ruby? Do you see all the steam? <laughs> yes. I'm walking. You are walking. Very nice. Timmy, we're in the blue lagoon. Look, Tim, it looks amazing. Oh, it feels so relaxing. We made it to the blue lagoon. <laughs> this is so cool. I feel like I remember like dreaming about this and I can't believe we're actually here. I know. We can't go under the bridge. Yeah, go under the bridge. Wow, and the sun is rising. How beautiful. And I get to see for Yeah, it's a good thing you have your floaties. Wow, we came at the perfect time because the sun is rising. It's so nice. So we're there just a bunch of naked dogs. <laughs> there are so many naked dogs. I was so confused. Wow, Tim, it looks so beautiful. We really did come at a good time, I'm glad. I was so sad that we might have missed the sunrise, but it's right there. about this blue lagoon. It smells like pork. You smell it? I don't even smell it. Yeah. So I think it's sulfur based I and so it, <laughs> it dries out your hair and it changes the color of your jewelry. So make sure you take your jewelry off before you come in here. And it's supposed to be really good for your skin. It's also one of the 25 wonders of the world. It is, yeah. What do you think about it, Ruby? It's really cool. Oh, Ruby Bear. Do you want to go see you? If we can get that mud mask? Yeah. Is there a clock around here? Yeah. Thank you, Papa. Oh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Ruby, let me see how yours is. She just put it on the bottom. No, baby, your forehead. Ooh, it's cold when you get out of the water. Does your skin feel soft now? <laughs> oh, this is so nice. A couple of cool facts. Apparently, it's 70% ocean water, 30% fresh water. The deepest part is 1.6 meters, which is around three feet. So there's no concern of drowning, unless you're a little tipsy. Kids still have to wear floaties though. That's all I got. There's about a half a million tourists that come to Iceland every year, and 80% of those come to the Blue Lagoon. Whoa! I heard that Icelandic people are outnumbered here because there are more tourists that come here 
than mm -hmm. actual people that live here. Mm -hmm. Like seven times the amount. That's insane. I think something like that. Don't I look pretty? <laughs> super soft. The tap water is super clean. You can just open your mouth and drink it. <laughs> it's cold. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Ooh! How does that feel? <laughs> is it hot? Nice. Get your shower. <laughs> I feel so zen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Total zen, bro. Chill vibe. Chill vibe. <laughs> you can't even see her body, it's just her head floating. <laughs> yeah, you just see your head floating, you can't even see your body. It literally looks like we're in the clouds because of all the steam. Drinks are actually included with your wristband and so is the face mask. You can pay for extra things, but the, the like the standard stuff is included, so that's pretty cool. And Libby just got this like juice. It's, it has like carrot, mango, ginger, lots of healthy good things. Yummy. So it's been a few hours. We actually ended up leaving the Blue Lagoon and coming to our hotel because it was check-in time. We literally just passed out and stayed sleeping for like four hours so hello jet lag <laughs> let's show you our room don't mind the mess <laughs> so here is the first bedroom right when you walk in this is what you will see it's a couch and a bed here's the bathroom huge we got a sink a toilet and a shower a big shower and then you come down here. Beep, 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 beep. And ta da! The main bed. We have a huge bed right here. And then we have a TV right in front of it. And then we have tea and coffee station. We have a mini refrigerator. And then we have a safe. The best part is the view. We have a whole view of the water. We got a view of the ocean. Isn't that nice, Ruby? Yeah. Look, there's like a little cave right there too. And that's what $156 gets you a night here in Iceland. <laughs> Did I mention Iceland's not cheap? <laughs> Time to get some food. They actually have a restaurant here, so we're gonna check that out. Okay guys, so we got our food at this restaurant and it smells amazing. Um, I got the grilled cod, it looks so good. Oh, vegetables. It's like a salad on top. Potatoes. I think there were some scallions too. Ruby got boiled fish and potatoes. And then I got some salmon over here, some Icelandic salmon. It came with some asparagus, mashed potatoes, a sauce. Oh, it just looks super good. Some of the salmon the sauce and the mashed potatoes. Mm. Oh. That's like so buttery. It tastes so buttery. It just like melts in your mouth. It's so good. Yeah, it good. Doesn't it just like melt in your mouth? Yeah. Even tastes, with the vegetables. It tastes real lemony. Oh, yeah. Here, try this mashed potato. It literally tastes like the creamiest mashed potatoes you've ever had, right? Yeah, yeah it does. No, that was so delicious. I can't yeah. move. Literally the best salmon I've ever had. So buttery and tender. Even the vegetables were so buttery and tender. They just fell apart. Now we get to relax. And tomorrow we're leaving this hotel. Yep. And what are we getting, Ruby? We're getting a sprinter van. <laughs> a camper van. Oh. A camper van. <laughs> yes, we're going to do camper van life. Woohoo. Good morning, everybody. We're about to head to, out to get breakfast. Oh my, this is a lot. Oh, um, <laughs> okay. Breakfast was super good. It, one of the better <laughs> hotel breakfasts we've ever had. And it had a beautiful view, so I guess it makes up for the room price when you think about it because of the view. And we just watched the most epic sunrise ever. It was so, so beautiful. Now we are heading to go get our camper van to road trip all throughout Iceland.
<laughs> we got our camper van. Oh my God, y'all. I, I haven't drove in a manual in like 20 something years. So I have an ulcer for sure. <laughs> I have a stress ball building up. In Iceland, most of the cars are manual. They're very used to like driving manuals here. You'll pay like double the price if you can even find an automatic car or a camper van. So we were like, oh yeah, Tim's driven a manual before like plenty of times, but like it's been like 10 years. <laughs> He's a bit rusty. Because it wasn't a huge van either. If we're in a parking lot, we're gonna do a lot more practicing until he's super duper comfortable. I'm a nervous wreck about this. <laughs> yeah, she makes it worse. I know. I'm trying <laughs> not to be. Let's show you this van. It's a really cool one. It's really nice. So here she is from the outside. Not too big. Luckily, we were able to get their newer model. So it's really nice and new inside of there. This is the door, obviously. <laughs> like the minivan style. Yeah. A little heavy. And it clicks, so it stays. I had to figure out the hard way. And this, the living room area slash dining room. We got a table right here. And then Ruby's got her car seat here. Storage here. Look at that, nice storage here. And over here you've got more storage. That's Ruby's bed. <laughs> no, it's not. And then this table is actually pretty cool. It lifts up if you wanna, you know, not use it. So the swivel chair, whoops, ta-da! <laughs> and they both swivel, so you could have this like, this where you eat dinner or play games, whatever you wanna do. This is like the dining room, entertainment station. And then over here, we've got our kitchen area. Right here, we've got two burner stoves that run on propane. And then this is a sink where we're housing gas station snacks. Over here, more cabinet storage space. We've got a couple of, whoops, these are the lights. <laughs> lights are right here, outlet lighter thing. And this is the regular outlet thing. We've got a sunroof over here, very nice. Or an escape hatch. I ain't fit nothing. <laughs> nice Some window. And look, so you can do your cooking here and have this awesome view. Look how cool that is. Next, we have our hallway, very small and narrow. And over here is our bathroom. We got a special one because it has a bathroom. It's pretty small in here, but it has a shower, a toilet, and a sink, and a mirror. How the shower works is you take mm -hmm. the sink nozzle and you put it up here, and then you got your shower. As you can see, it's like already shower floor in here, so the whole thing becomes a shower, which we're kind of used to because of Asia. They have that in there already in regular homes. And then you just siphon it back in. Look at this. You even have a, a window here. You have a view while you poop. <laughs> yep. We have the standard toilet. You move it and you do your business. And then on the outside, there's the cassette toilet. It's a yes. And then they even have storage in here. Look at that. Very nice. After the bathroom, got a refrigerator. It has the latch thing on there. It's a decent sized refrigerator for an RV or a camper. And then more storage over here. This is a lot of storage, which is really nice in an RV or a camper. I don't even know what to call them. I don't even know what you call this. Like, is it a just a camper? <laughs> oh, look, it came with a little girl. <laughs> now we made it to the bedroom. <laughs> so the first floor is really big. You have two floors, top bunk and the bottom bunk. Mm -hmm. First, let's start with the bottom. The bottom bunk is bigger than the top. I actually think they're both the same size. Yeah, they're the same. How do you get up there? Huh? You just climb the ladder. I'm not sleeping up here. You are. That ain't gonna hold me, silly. Do you see this belly? Oh, look, there's a net so Ruby doesn't roll off. That's our camper. We get to drive this beautiful thing around all of Iceland, basically wherever we want to go, and then just find campgrounds to stay up for the night. Once we get the manual part down, <laughs> it'll be way more exciting for me. Ruby's taking over. She's gonna drive the manual around. There we go. <laughs> I didn't know how to drive the manual. <laughs> yeah, neither do I, so God help us. <laughs> no, stop, you've got it, you've but, got it. <laughs> And if this works out, maybe we'll do more van life stuff. Yeah, it's, it's extremely popular now. Um, yes. All, literally all over the world. So they're, Because of COVID. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are a family of three and we were concerned like if we would be able to make it work in an RV or van. Yeah. But this is the perfect place, I think, to start. For sure. Probably not with a manual, but we'll see how it's it good goes. Good place to learn. <laughs> yeah. First order of business, lunch in our van. We went to the gas station to fill up and they actually had like sandwiches that you could get. We just asked them to make it vegetarian first because they sounded really good. And I also think it's probably gonna be one of the cheaper options to go sandwiches alone. We're like $7, which is not too bad for these types of sandwiches. And now we're just gonna enjoy. Mm. This whole perfect. Mm, that's good stuff. I think I could get used to it. 
a just a quick stop to get some groceries and essentials before we hit the road. Strawberry and lemon. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. All these Cost items. Human type. That price. One hundred and forty dollars. It's a lot of food. Yeah, it is a lot of food though. Okay. Grocery shopping was a success. We're gonna head to our campsite all the way in Reykjavik, which is the capital city of Iceland. It's also where two thirds of Iceland's population lives. It's one of the smallest capital cities in the world. So just imagine how how small the population is here. The smallest capital to house two thirds of the whole population. It's a very small amount of people. The car next to us, the lady pulled up, left her baby in the car and went and grabbed sushi and went back to her car. I don't know if that's a normal thing out here. We're not in Kansas no more. <laughs> yeah, it's a different kind of world here. Yeah, it is. to our campsite but this campsite was one of the most expensive ones in Iceland but it's the closest one to Reykjavik so it's a pretty popular one and it's really nice because it has amenities like laundry, laundry room. Yeah. it has bathrooms here in case your uh, camper doesn't have a bathroom lounge area too ice laundry when your mama is not around <laughs> that's cute <laughs> also these washing machines take card pretty much anywhere in Iceland you can get away with just using your card it says if you don't know the temperature you better call your mother how about we put it in first no. oh perfect it even includes the laundry soap inside the machine. This is a dishwashing station, so you can wash your dishes not inside of your van. This is so cool. This give is a take. give and take area, so you can give things and take it. And it's freezing out here, so all that this produce and everything is so definitely great. fine. That is so nice. For dinner tonight, we are doing a pasta with a vegan bolognese sauce. Tried to keep it simple for the first night. Dinner's ready. Dun, 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 dun. Time to eat. Bon appetit. Oh, look at the sky behind us. Wow. That's so cute. Oh, she's coming. Timmy. We got a little visitor. Oh, so cute. She's friendly. I said that there was one cat for every 30 Icelandic, Icelandic, Icelandic person? <laughs> Icelander. The Icelanders. We are just going to end our day with a nice walk. <laughs> we overindulged when we were back home. We wanted to get our fill of all the American food that we absolutely loved. Definitely need- I got pumped, y'all. <laughs> just saying I got pumped. No, we definitely need to work on our fitness. fitness. Working on our fitness. <laughs> the sun is setting right now and it is just so beautiful it's like cotton candy skies it's really nice, yeah. and i thought the sunrise was hard to beat but this one is so so nice we're so excited to keep exploring this country and Definitely. try some of the icelandic food <laughs> explore more of the nature here because it is epic already already feels like we're on a different planet i think this is where we're gonna end the video so thank you guys so much for watching and if you'd like to support us please hit the subscribe button it really means a lot to us and it helps us out if you would give us a like if you like this video too and we will see you guys in the next one bye bye, bye.